Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you this uh, robot vacuum cleaner from uh, Silvercrest available in uh, Lidl and uh, as always on the beginning my judgment for, uh, for, for people do that don't want to wait till the end of the video uh, my opinion is negative and why it's negative if you are curious about that please stay tuned Okay, uh, some basic features. This is a, a cordless uh, robot vacuum cleaner. Uh, it has uh, four cleaning molds, uh, random, spot, corners, scheduled. Um, it could be um, programmable via remote control, which is um, uh, as an accessory. Easy to empty, this uh, dust container, which is here. I can confirm it's easy um, what else it has some ten sen uh, sensitive anti crash sensors I assuming they are somewhere there uh, two side brushers such similar they are underneath of course uh, it has included uh, 2500 mAh battery, 14.4 volts, and uh, producer claim it can work uh, up to 90 minutes. Uh, power 20 watts, suction power 0.5 kPa. Sorry, I have nothing to, to, to compare with. Dust container 0.3 liter. In my opinion, okay, enough. Uh, and now, super quiet, below 68 decibels. Is it super quiet? It's up to it's up to you. And now let's get uh, into some details. First of all, uh, battery, two and a half thousand milliampere hours. For me, a little bit too small, and I'm also curious which type it is uh, is it some kind of standard or not because uh, as we know uh, with today's smartphones if your battery uh, failed most of time it's it's not worth to to to, to exchange because the whole process of uh, buying sending uh, and so on uh, somebody need to somebody need to change this battery it's so cost it's it's it costs uh, so much uh, money that it's it's better to buy new one so with this might be I don't claim I'm not claiming it will be but it might be the same case second thing small but still you are buying something for hundred something euros and you are not getting batteries come on in those days really it's super cheap to add batteries even some poor quality batteries therefore for this test I will use also batteries from Lidl so <laughs> if the remote will not work it will be purely blame of of Lidl sorry I need to switch it on. Stop! 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 <laughs> okay. At least it's working. And uh, now we are getting into the, the, the crucial part why I'm not recommending I will also test it so you will see if it can clean or not but first of all for me it's an unknown product that means all such filters and brushes are okay you have one set included but uh, we are talking how to use it in the long run so I'm a little bit skeptic about availability of spare parts they are looking like uh, spare parts that could be exchanged from the other uh, with other producers but with devices that are uh, not so popular or they are uh, brand of 
as in this case of Lidl, I'm a little bit curious about how the spare parts could be managed uh, managed by the in the long run in, because it has a three years warranty so at least it should work three years of course you are not buying uh, appliance for only three years but at least three years it should be capable to work because it's it's uh, it has a warranty yes we have got also some brush to keep it clean so this is why I'm not recommending and now I'm going to test it with using some small particles. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, I forget about uh, other thing. Even in the manual, they are claiming that before you start to use it, you should prepare uh, everything around. I mean, the uh, furniture. You, you should uh, keep it in order. Carpets should be tight underneath, just to avoid this thing getting in uh, and so on and so on you <laughs> actually you have to make a, a big preparation because before you will use that robot so if you have a carpet and um, you, you get the point uh, it's so many things you need to prepare and by the way they are claiming you should test it near to your stairs just to check it if it has uh, or it it is able to detect the potential risk of falling down so it's like a like a babysitting your own vacuum robot okay um, I will turn it on and we will find out is it able to uh, to clean and uh, you, you cannot see there is a uh, let's say Mm, cliff here it might fa fall down so I'm curious is it able to detect okay so uh, for sure it's, it's on okay and uh, in manual this is a starting button but nice it, it didn't clean everything but most of it it is it's here I mean in, in terms of efficiency quite nice and I'm also quite uh, surprised about the, uh, the the manual mode but yeah not buying uh, robot to, to operate it uh, by a manual thing in, in manual way because in principle it should uh, it should uh, save your time but I'm accepting it has such function okay let's put on the automatic mode Yes, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I have to admit, I am surprised. Uh, it's uh, very nice detecting the, the bench, so it's not falling down. Uh, and uh, all those, let's say, bumps, uh, he was, or this robot was able to, to clean. And by the way, it, it also cleans some dust that has been on my desk. Oh, now you can, now you can see. So, yeah, I'm positively surprised. But still, my biggest concern is how it will work in the long run, of course. 
it's it's question with every other robot, but still the amount of the the the, the spare parts could be a problem. So before uh, you will buy it, please consider this. Take it into consideration. Okay. So actually, from the initial uh, not recommending position, I'm ending in the in the some kind of neutral uh, opinion because it's cleaning. But uh, the concern is how it will be managed in the long run. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and see you next time. Bye.